there are some secrets around the album title and the artwork, which was done by Eleran Cantor. And, um, but we're not giving the game away yet. It's like if we were here to promote a film, you wouldn't give the ending away. We're not going to give the beginning away because it would spoil it for a lot of people. So for the time being, I think we'll just leave the title and the artwork hanging and allow people to make up their own minds about what it's what it's about and what the connection may be. Um, because if we just give it all away straight away, this, the mystery has gone and our fans are super dedicated to, to looking between the lines. They want to know what My Dying Bride's hiding. They want all the secrets. And we've got a lot of secrets, but those guys are good at finding them. So we're going to wait maybe a year or two before we spill the beans, see what the other guys come out with. And if their ideas are better than ours, we'll simply steal their ideas and uh, pretend they were our own. This broken he emailed me um, a number of years ago and I expressed an interest in working with him. <clears throat> and then my daughter got sick um, and everything went on hold. Uh, and I sort of effectively left the band for a couple of years. Um, and I told Ella around that something's happening, but please don't forget me and come back in a couple of years time. And he's like, well, all right, fine. I won't forget you. And he kept his word. And um, then obviously I put a statement out about my daughter and why my dying bride disappeared for a couple of years. And he got back in touch saying, wow, I didn't realize it was that bad. Um, are you in a position to start working again? And I said, give us a few more months and, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, and eventually we, we managed to connect and um, I gave him all the lyrics and the album title and he's he's obviously been aware of My Dying Bride for a long, long time and it's, it's, I didn't need to say to him, we don't want spikes and blood and axes and satanic stuff because that's not what My Dying Bride does, although we secretly love all that. Um, I said, you know what My Dying Bride is. You've got the lyrics now. Let's see what you can come up with. And apparently his wife is is there on the front cover. That figure is modelled after her. Um, and he came up with the goods and we just thought, this is astonishing because it looks like nothing else out there. Um, there seems to be a certain familiarity with heavy metal album covers. As I mentioned, it's always very gory or spiky or a bit cheesy, if I, if I dare say. Um, but this one, I think, is very mature. And, uh, and sophisticated. And we needed something like that because we knew we were coming back with an album that has raised the bar and we needed the artwork to come along for the ride. And I think he's done an exceptional job um, and I'm sure he's gonna get a lot more work out of it, so.